Hi, I'm the Neuron Nair, and today I want to pop the hood on our brain and take a look at what's happening inside of this beautiful machine when we experience a craving. We could probably all relate to that struggle to break a bad habit. Maybe you want to stop eating unhealthy foods or exercise more, be more organized, less untidy, or even just stop checking your phone excessively. The point is we've made this decision that we don't want to do this thing anymore, but it feels impossible to stop. Often our behaviors feel like they're happening completely outside of our control. It's like this, you know, impulse or urge arises to behave a particular way and before we know it, we've done it. Sometimes it happens without even thinking or other times you can probably relate to that sort of internal back and forth struggle before eventually you end up giving in. So if you want to get in there and start hacking your brain, first you've got to know how it actually works. So what I wanna to do today is take a look at the neuroscience behind the four steps of the cue to reward loop, which is a series of neuronal events that occur when you are forming or performing a habit. So a cue could be anything in the environment that signals potential reward or punishment. It might be an advertisement you see, uh, something you smell, a sound, even a random emotion or thought could be a cue. When these cues arise, there's an area of your brain called the amygdala that registers that something of emotional significance is present. That is, your brain has detected an opportunity to either acquire pleasure or avoid pain. And when that happens, it triggers a really strong desire to behave in a particular way. And that's what we experience as a craving or urge. So when you're craving that pizza or time in front of the TV or glass of wine, what you're really experiencing is a massive dump of dopamine in an area of the brain called the nucleus accumbens. When the amygdala registers that pleasure cue in the environment, it activates dopamine neurons here. So dopamine is a neurotransmitter, it's a chemical in your brain, and it's associated with goal-oriented behavior, reward, and habit formation. When dopamine neurons start firing in the nucleus accumbens, what it does is it activates those behaviors which are likely to be most effective in helping you to acquire that pleasure or avoid that pain. It also really narrows your attention so you become most focused on performing those behaviors that are gonna get you the thing you want. And your neuronal pathways for alternative behaviors are really quietened or suppressed. So what you end up with is this super pizza focused tunnel vision. This giant dopamine dump causes some serious FOMO. And if you delay reacting, the craving just intensifies. The neurons in your nucleus accumbens are really active now. So they're constantly firing and screaming at you. And now it's really uncomfortable to ignore them. So generally we wanna respond and pretty fast. The brain, like us, is a pretty crafty slacker though, and it wants to achieve its goals by exerting the least amount of effort possible. When we encounter something we've never seen before, we're engaging in an area of the brain called the prefrontal cortex. So when we need to really consciously and deliberately make a decision, really weighing up the pros and cons, we use the prefrontal cortex and it makes sense in a novel environment because we don't yet know how to respond but it also takes an incredible amount of energy. So in situations that we encounter over and over and over, the brain, again, just like you, takes shortcuts. Where the prefrontal cortex is in charge of conscious, deliberate decision-making, our basal ganglia is in charge of routines or that cue to reward loop. Okay, so how does a behavior or response become a routine? This is actually a really complex process involving a heap of neurotransmitters and structures, but let's stick with the effect of dopamine today. Essentially so that your brain doesn't have to consciously deliberate over every single tiny decision you make on a daily basis from which way to turn a door handle to how to put on your socks, your brain forms memories about which behaviors are usually successful in these situations. So they're successful in terms of acquiring pleasure or success and reducing pain or frustration. When we experience a rise in pleasure or reduction in pain, dopamine receptors in an area of the brain called the ventral tegmental area or VTA get really excited. The VTA is one of the main dopamine producing areas in your brain. Neurons in the VTA project to your nucleus accumbens, which is in your basal ganglia, causing dopamine levels there to rise. This rise in dopamine signals the brain to remember that a particular behavior has been successful, 
by strengthening neuronal pathways in an area of the brain called the hippocampus, which is very simply your memory center, your amygdala, which registers cues in the environment, it's responsible for emotional processing, and also your basal ganglia, which you now know is responsible for forming and executing routines or automatic behaviors. So when eating pizza makes you feel really good after a stressful day, your brain remembers it. And after a while, you know, getting home and eating pizza after a stressful day is just a habit. Your prefrontal cortex just doesn't want to go through all of the effort involved with weighing up all the pros and cons for every single possible thing that might provide you some stress relief in this moment. So your basal ganglia steps in and says, just relax, I've got this one. A brain essentially says, look, I've only got so much energy and ordering pizza work last time, so let's just do that. So now we're back here. Stress after a long day has now become a cue for ordering pizza. The cue to reward loop has been activated. We feel stressed, we order a pizza, eat it, feel really good, the stress goes down, we strengthen the habit and increase the probability even further that next time we feel stressed, we're gonna order pizza. So now we've got a bit of an understanding of what's going on inside our brains when we experience cravings, we are in a much better position to get in there and start making adjustments. So on this channel, it's all about actually taking action, not just feeling motivated. So I've linked a free worksheet in the description below that you can use to start analyzing your automatic behaviors a little bit. I've also included some strategies you might use to start attacking that cue to reward loop. And if you want some handy environmental cues to behave productively and start engineering your brain, hit the notification bell um, and it will remind you when I release a new video or worksheet. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.